Hey Saints fans, this is Scott Gladstone here. We are previewing the 2023 GNAC Women's Golf Championships in Coeur d'Alene. I'm here with St. Martin seniors, Catherine Krimp and Jada French. Catherine, let's start with you. Uh, before we get into to kind of the golf aspect of things, at the Marty Awards on Tuesday, you were awarded the Father G Award, um, and that was voted on by St. Martin's coaches um, throughout, and they were recognizing you for being an outstanding student athlete. What did that mean to you uh, to be able to be honored with that? I mean, it meant a lot. I'm very appreciative, especially I know that Anne had something to do with that for sure, so I'm appreciative of her. And... Um, yeah, I'm just very, yeah, very thankful. It meant a lot. Um, receiving any sort of like accolades like that is super awesome. And yeah, I'm very thankful. Um, Jada, you're a veteran on this team, especially going in. I mean, you guys have a large freshman class. Uh, a lot of them have never played Coeur d'Alene before. Um, and so, and Anne was just talking about how much she kind of leans on you guys to kind of give those tips and help preview the course. What is your advice for some of the younger players on this team going into the conference championships? Um, so I'd say, I mean, it's it's an attackable course. It's not too hard. Um, but, yeah, for each hole, we just we just give advice on clubs and yardage, stuff like that. Um, the greens, I really like the greens. I think those are easy to putt on. So it should be good for us as a team. Um, Catherine, alongside of, you know, the Father G Award, you're also – are all academic with a 4.0 GPA. How do you manage being a student athlete, especially with golf where, I mean, most of your tournaments are on Monday, Tuesdays. You're missing a lot of class. How do you manage that and still get a 4.0? Honestly, I don't know. Um, that's something I guess I've just been, like, super blessed with is that I'm a very organized person, and so I have that very type A personality where it's like I don't like getting behind on things. I like being on top of my schoolwork. I like being on top of my golf game. Um, it's really hard, and, like, this semester was especially difficult with student teaching and everything, but um, checklists are really great. It keeps me on top of my schoolwork and what I got to do. Um, yeah, it's – I don't know. It's just something that I guess I was very lucky to have. Yeah, one of those skill sets. Uh, one of the things that also, you know, takes you away for a while is the Hawaii trip at the end of the, the fall season. Jada, talk, a little, talk to me a little bit about the Hawaii trip, how much fun that is, how much um, of just an experience that is for the team being able to bond in such a cool place to play golf or do anything. Yeah, I think the Hawaii trip is everyone's favorite trip. Um, of the golf season, and I think we played pretty well. Um, I didn't play well the first day, but other than that, yeah, we did good as a team. Um, it's nice weather, and it's good to be in Hawaii. So, uh, Catherine, you won the conference championship a couple years ago, and obviously on a more familiar course, um, but as somebody who's been there, kind of how do you go about the mindset going into Coeur d'Alene, um, knowing that, you know, anything can happen, um, and, you know, it's 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 in the ballpark for anybody. Yeah, the thing is, is like I'm a very different golfer than I was two years ago. Um, that's the one thing that's, I mean, that I love about the game of golf, but I also hate about the game of golf is that it's always changing. Like I could, like even the golf that I was playing a month ago is completely different than what I'm playing today. But um, knowing that I can do it and that I've done it before will definitely help. Um, knowing that it's possible, I can – you know, I know that I could, I can do it. Anything's possible, and I know that our team could do it. But it's just whether or not it happens that particular day. Yeah. Um, Jada, you guys are both seniors. What is, what are you going to remember most about your time at St. Martin's, both as a women's golfer and just as a, a student athlete? Um, what, what kind of moments are most special to you, and and what will you take away from being a saint? Um, I've definitely made a lot of friendships through golf and also I've learned to um, balance like school and golf and a part-time job so that's been helpful. Um, the Hawaii trip's been my favorite so that's I'm always going to remember that. Um, also Bob Grisham he's he was a great coach to us and was very impactful so. And Catherine I'll ask you the same question. Um, obviously you know you guys had had a lot going on throughout your tenure with COVID and, you know, winning the conference championship for you personally and, and your men's team, like how much success they had um, a couple years ago. What will you take away from, from your time at St. Martin's? Well, yeah, the conference championship is a big one for me. I will always like remember that. I still remember the last couple holes specifically, like walking down with Anne those last couple holes and her giving me advice. Um, wouldn't have been able to do that without her. Um, 
And then as re regards to like my teammates and everything, I mean, I've hope I've made lifelong friendships with these guys and honestly memories last a lifetime. So I'm, yeah, I'm always, I'm always going to be a saint forever. And so I'll always have these precious memories in my heart. So yeah, it's been a great experience. And yeah, in regards to Bob too, that's, yeah, he's, he left an impact on my life for sure. Like I wouldn't be here without him at all. So. All right. Well, thank you both for taking the time out. Best of luck in Coeur d'Alene.